What's up, Ready Up Live? Green Skull here, and I'm going to show you how to get the Scarab Gun in Halo 2 Anniversary, as well as the Soccer Ball, both of which will get you an achievement. And this isn't that hard. You can do this on easy. So what you want to do is go on Metropolis, get to the end here, get to the end of the bridge, and you got to lure this Banshee in with you. This is tricky. you got to get him all the way to the end. So there's a few tactics here, but right now, just pay attention to what I'm doing for now. I'm going to keep driving backwards with this Warthog until it becomes stuck, until it becomes a little too much. At some point, it's not viable to keep driving, but you got to be careful because this Banshee will keep turning around. He will keep trying to go back out. He'll try to escape, so you got to make sure he's still consistently interested in you. you got to keep leading him down this path, and you will get some checkpoints, so you can revert to checkpoints if he decides to screw off and fly somewhere, so keep him on this leash. Keep him on the leash. It doesn't matter if he follows your buddies. It doesn't matter. You got to get him to the end. Kill anybody you want. Kill your Marines. Make sure they do not kill this Banshee. So make sure you don't have any buddies that want to shoot at it. And if he ever loses your attention, shoot at him. Fire off a chunk of his wing and he will definitely come back to you. I mean, I say definitely, but maybe he won't. There's, there's the chance that this Banshee will just be done with you and fly off. So again, be very... Very careful and never board it. Not until I until I say. So keep him flying. Keep him in the air. Keep him alive. Do what you want other than that. Just make sure you lead him in. And again, this is a lot easier on easy than it is another thing. So he's trying to run away again. So I'm gonna shoot him in the wing, break it off a bit. And now he's mad again. So he will continue following me into the end, into the abyss of this tunnel. So not much further to go. Just keep leading him. Feel free to take some guys out on the way so they don't keep bugging you. But every time he catches up, for the most part, he will turn around. So if, as long as you see him behind you, it is, you have a better chance of him following you. So make sure you keep a solid pace, otherwise he's just going to get bored and turn around. And if he gets stuck, that's fine. That actually works out in your favor, because he won't fly back. So you got to get him into this tunnel here, this end tunnel. This is the next big step, and it shouldn't be too hard, but there are a few things that can go wrong here. He can get stuck. There's one tunnel he can go down where he will fly up, but there's no way you can get him out for the most part. So be very careful here. Make sure he flies with you, and as soon as he's in here, you're pr almost in the clear. He can get stuck again. Like, he will run into things, but, you know, just move around, and he will likely follow you. Maybe you can melee him sometimes. You can push him around, but make sure... See where I'm at right now is actually where you don't want him. I kind of I kind of messed that up. I, I went to the wrong tunnel, so I almost screw up here. This is where it can go wrong, is the tunnel I'm currently in. So I don't even notice this until the last minute, but if you when I turn around, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is not the tunnel we want to be in, but he will kind of get stuck like this, and that's really not a bad thing. That's okay. Again, you can you can work with it. So see, I'm like oh. This isn't the right place, so what happens is he can fly up there and then you're done. He's not coming back down, so... Luckily, I did not mess up here, and I can melee him to push him out. <laughs> I'm very lucky I could continue doing this, so that tunnel, bad! Don't follow me and go into that tunnel, it's the left tunnel, not that tunnel. Don't go in there again, because if he goes in there right now like that, it could be all over. So make sure you keep his attention, he comes after you, this is the tunnel you want, and here's what's going to happen. Right when you hit a loading, right when you hit the loading, you need to hijack him. Right at the second. So, as I walk into this tunnel, I will hit that loading zone. And again, hijack right away, otherwise it's all over. So, there, loading, board. As soon as you see loading, hit that board button, success. I got it. Otherwise you could blow up, things will go wrong, it'll disappear, etc. But, I did it successfully, there you go, you got a banshee. Step two fly. You just gotta fly up. Fly upwards. So there's these two elongated bridge building things up here, and it's on one of them. The scarab gun is resting, floating above a little pylon on top of this one. I just gotta fly to it. Just get up there. So just keep flying towards it. <laughs> It'll take a little bit of time, but once you're there, you can reap the benefits and you can see some some minor differences here while we're while we're sitting here while we're talking while we're waiting you can see what the differences uh in classic and remastered are uh, one of the coolest levels to just fly around on. i love doing this back in the day on halo 2 when someone discovered this it was truly one of the best glitches slash kind of intentional easter egg kind of things of all time of all time prove me wrong the scarab gun 
and how you get there is not one of the best things ever, so. That was actually the wrong bridge, so it's this one. So look on both, you can see it, there's a little black thing there, that's it, sitting right in the middle. This is the scarab gun, sitting there, floating on top of this pylon. All you need to do is wield it, and do not shoot near yourself, because you will, you will hurt yourself. This is a tool of power. And you get the achievement as soon as you pick it up, there you go. Achievement number one, Scarab Lord. That's a scarab gun. Just like the scarab skull, which is awesome that you can use that with every gun now, but... Step two, there's a soccer ball. And by shooting it, you get an achievement. So follow where I'm going here. You want to turn off the bridge here, out into the water. And you'll see, this is the direction of that dome, that half dome you came in before. But there's a building I'm flying towards right now that has a hole in it. There's a broken section right underneath me, the one I'm pointing at right now. That's where you want to go. The soccer ball is inside here. So simply fly down to it. Easy as that. You can actually get here other ways, but you might as well do it two in one. Two birds, one stone. Get the scarab gun. Fly down here. You can shoot it with anything. Just shoot it with the banshee, and an achievement will unlock goal. Achievement's about to happen. So shoot it. Boom. Achievement coming up. Done. Two achievements. Easy. Easy peasy. And, uh, I like how it makes like screeching mic sounds when you when you knock it. And uh, that's it. That's, that's all that's all there is. That's all there is to it. So hopefully this helped you out guys Be sure to smack that like button if you appreciate this content and check out my other guides I have a ton of achievement guides for you guys some really awesome stuff I'm really glad I had the opportunity to, to figure this stuff out before the game was out So I mean yes, we all knew how to do the, I guess a lot of us knew how to how to do these ones Because uh, old school halo. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video And here it is, number one, Master Chief. And so you can see I'm pretty far out here. It takes a little bit to get over here. That's why I sped it up. Here's your first achievement. So getting this 